first connect the air line and put the seal on the air pipe in this order, then insert the intake valve, tighten with the wrench, bellows connection to vacuum pump, the other end of the corrugated tube is connected to the chamber of the evaporation coating instrument. Next put the sample, first remove the coarse cavity as a whole, carefully place the cavity on the right platform, loosen the screws holding the sample clamp, then fix the sample to the sample holder. Another way to pick up and place samples is to loosen the fixing screws that fix the sample stitch, remove the sample stitch and fix the sample to the sample stitch. Next, place the evaporation source. Take the evaporation source and place it in the tungsten bolt, then put the quartz cavity in place. Turn on the power and vacuum. Turn on the vacuum pump switch. Open the intake valve. Pull the vacuum to the lowest level. The vacuum value is about 1 par. When drawn to the lowest, start venting gas. Use argon or other gas to clean the cavity. Pull the vacuum to the lowest level to start evaporation. It can be evaporated by manual adjustment or constant flow mode. First click on manual adjustment, set evaporation time. The maximum is 0 by seconds. If we set some by seconds, click to start and stop evaporation. Then turn the current adjustment button. Adjust to the required evaporation current value. Just keep it. Wait for time to end. Evaporation is complete. Take the sample after evaporation. Open the vent valve. Turn off the vacuum pump first. Then turn the bleed valve. Deflate. At this time, rotate the bevel to the edge position. Then carefully move the vacuum chamber to the right platform. Loosen the two knobs holding the sample. Remove the spring pick to take out the sample. 